Hi there, today we're going to be making a bi-directional counter using pistons. This design is compact and fast. Um, due to the use of pistons, it's not the most resource efficient, so don't use this in survival. Um, but definitely use it in creative, you could use it in games where you have to slide, move back and forth and other things like that. So the materials you need are in my uh, quick bar right there. Um, you need stone or any solid block, um, glowstone, pist sticky pistons, redstone, redstone torches, repeaters, and a button. Um, so this relies on, uh, I, I think it's a D flip-flop, um, but it this is the memory cell that we're working on right now. Um, and then the design is uh, basically a mirror for both by uh, for both directions. So we're putting your repeaters in. Time these to one tick. All right, there we go. Very nice. And now we're taking the uh, taking the output from the memory cells, and that's how you determine how to shift the bit. There we go. All right, so the the one uh, side will be one tick slower than the other, and remember to clear away the other stuff just to make it neater and to uh, fit more things in. You could put the outputs uh, right after those repeaters there, um, or you could use a piston under the machine. Though there's a number of ways to get the outputs from this. So here we are inverting our charge. This will allow it to make an end gate. And clearing away more stuff. Okay, so now we're, we want to bring the charges outwards. and finishing off the memory cells. So they'll retain the charge until a piston cuts the redstone. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're called. I think they're D flip flops like I said. Uh, we're repeating this with the other side. And this is basically the end gate we're just missing the second input now um, and then we want to take the charges from that and move it even higher um, for their resetting pistons which will be behind this right there um, so these textures are custom textures made by myself um, they're based off the OCD texture pack um, if you like them, uh, I, I could send you the text uh, terrain.png file. Um, yeah, but I, I recommend getting the LCD text pack itself because it's much better than this. Mine's just the textures you see in my uh, quick bar and here. Um, there's nothing more than that. So now. These pistons will cut the redstone wire when activated, and the memory cells will lose their charge. So we just have to repeat this on the other side. There we go. Alright, we're done that. That took quite a while. 
Okay, so now we're working on the second inputs, the user inputs. So the glowstone will act as a one-way uh, diode. Um, well, diode, self-explanatory, but... So the charges will not move backwards onto the wire. Um, it will only go upwards um, due to the properties of glowstone, as you can see right here. Perfect. So it it reduces one tick of delay in the machine, which is actually quite significant when used in large machines, um, especially timing-based ones like mini games, stuff like that. Um, Space Invaders used uh, one of these for the player, and a massive, massive one for uh, the aliens. So that gives you an example of how it can be used. Alright, so now we need pulse runners for each side. Um, those will be timed to f uh, six ticks, I believe. Um, so let me just go ahead with that. You do not want to um, invert the final charge from that, like, like how you're supposed to, because these ones have to be inverted. Okay, so now we want to um, add the transfer torches, which are right here. They come off the side of the end gate, so they're an end gate th themselves, and they move on to the next cell, which which is the transfer. So we'll repeat that for both sides. There you go. Very nicely done. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I just made a mistake on these. Alright, so now let's test this thing. Very nice, quick reaction, and beautiful, I think. So this is a timing-based machine. It might need to change based on multiplayer. Um, if your server is a bit slower, 